Hey, Roxy here with everything you need to know about the Yamina body rolling products. So I get a lot of questions online and in my workshops and group classes about how much air do we need in the products? Which one should I start investing in? How to use the pump, etc., etc. So we're gonna try and cover a lot of those things here. So let's start with the gold ball. So as you can see, this is the biggest Yamina ball and this is pretty much the foundational ball. Now with that said, we also have the pearl ball, which you can see is smaller, but guess what? They're essentially almost the same. So what would be the difference? Would you need to purchase both? Not necessarily. Um, this would go more by height. So for instance, a petite person probably wouldn't buy the gold ball. You'd be fine just getting the pearl ball. And so for me, I'm 5'10", which is 178 centimeters. So I use the gold ball, it's perfect for me. I also use the pearl ball, which depending on what exercise I'm doing can go a little bit deeper. So that's what you need to know about that. Especially if you're a petite person, you definitely don't need both. Now, we also have the silver ball, and this is sort of in between these two, but it is the most dense. So we use this for the large muscle groups of the legs, especially. So quads, inner thighs, outer thighs, um, and also through our beautiful glutes, AKA the butt. Um, so it's much more dense. We have the black balls. Now these come uh, for space, I just showed one, but they come as a pair which is fantastic. So when you go on the website or you order from a practitioner like myself, you'll always get it as a pair. And the price that you're given is the price for two black balls. Now, these are fantastic. They're, as you can see, a lot smaller than the other ones. So it means it can go deeper and you get more details. So especially if we're working around the pelvis, if we're working around the chest and under the shoulders. So these are great. And what I love about this, this I always recommend to people to buy, is it's so versatile. You can travel with these, you can take them on the plane, um, sit on them, use them, you can be in your office and sit on them. There's a whole series that you can do in the bed. These are fantastic. Now, after that, you can see there's a smaller ball in front. Okay, slightly different color. So it's a darker blue. These are the smallest and now, the most dense. So these are gonna be even harder and more detailed than the black ball. We only recently started selling these to the public before they were only available to practitioners. So these ones you wanna be careful. You might think, oh, these are the ones I need because they're the hardest and they're gonna get the deepest, but that's not necessarily what you want. So you wanna be careful about using these ones. You definitely would wanna start with the black balls and be really, like have a good routine, know what you're doing, um, and then if your practitioner recommends that you get the blue balls, then you could purchase those. Okay, so that's almost it for the balls. But then of course we have our beautiful faces. You get two balls when you buy a face ball kit. You get this one, which is specifically to work on your face. And you also get this one, which is for the back of the neck to support you as you're rolling your face with the smaller ball and the face ball is fantastic. This is also great. I mean, I take this on the plane. I've even taken it in a movie theater and just worked around my eyes and it feels fantastic. Now, what do we need to cover next? For our feet, yay. So we have a pair of foot wakers. These and a pair of foot savers. So especially with these, people will ask me, which one do I get? Um, and of course, if you can get both, fantastic. But if you can, generally you wanna start with the foot wakers. This is where you begin. And these are, again, pretty versatile because you can also use them for your hands and your wrist. So that's pretty fantastic. Now, the thing is with the feet, you do, they're called the wakers because you're waking up your feet, right? So you wanna create some flexibility in your feet and that starts with using these ones. And this is great too, because you might think, oh, those look really hard and it can be pretty painful to get into the feet, but there's a whole series that you can do sitting before you add standing and whatnot. So you definitely start with that. And then you have the foot saver. So as you can see, they're smaller, they're more dome-like. So this gets more detailed now, where we're kind of separated and actually um, stimulating each metatarsal, each part of the foot. 
I love these, they feel great. But again, you would wanna start with the wakers before going into the savers. Let's talk about the pump. Ah, the beautiful Yamana pump. So here it is, which is fantastic. Now, here's the thing with the pump. It comes with a needle. You can unscrew the needle. So it comes like two little parts. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, and basically when you want to deflate to your ball, you take the ball. Now here's the thing with the needle. You wanna make sure the needle is wet, okay? So if you own your own pump, you can put it in your mouth if you want or find something just to make it wet. That way it will go in easier and you don't have to pop the ball. So you just go in, you can hear the air coming out like that. But in general, you don't wanna deflate your black balls too much. Okay, so you do that when you want to inflate the balls. You make sure that the needle is in fairly tight. Again, you wet the needle, press it into the hole all the way in, and then you just pump. You squeeze and pump. That's it. And you make sure you want the balls fairly firm, okay? Especially the black balls. So I see a lot of the time where there isn't enough air, you want the black balls to have, to be full of air. Okay, so I see that, there's not much squeeze. That's good, so here's something else you wanna know about the pump. I've seen this many times where pumps get destroyed. You might have kids coming into the house and you get worried, oh my gosh, a kid, they can poke their eye out with a needle or swallow it, and they do this, they bring the needle and they put it into the pump. Do not do that. Your pump is done after that, okay? So just put it in a safe space, make sure nobody does that and you can't use it anymore. So there's one thing I do wanna cover about the pump is sometimes people will say, well, I don't have a pump or your practitioner doesn't have any left to sell, etc." So you can, some people have a bike pump and they can use that. Now here's the thing, you, because I've, I've checked out the different bike pumps, you do need to make sure that the needle is quite small. So you wanna be careful because if it's too big, you can pop your Yamina balls and then you're done, right? So um, you can check your bicycle pump, make sure it's a small needle. You can kind of compare it. I can't tell you about sizes, what I really don't know. know. So you're starting a Yamina practice and you wanna invest in your own products. Yay, that's fantastic. And you should because it is really a great investment. But where do you start? Okay, so what I would say, essentially. Now, of course, hey, if you can buy everything, go for it, do it. But most of us, we got budgets, we got things we gotta pay for. So for sure, I would say buy a pair of black balls. Like I said, these are the most versatile. You can use them in the bed, you can travel with them, and you can do all this rolling and you can do detailed work. So I would definitely get a pair of these get a pump whether it's a yamina pump or if you have a bicycle pump that works and if you can so your most ideal starting kit i would say in my opinion and regardless of what your size is would be a pair of black balls and a pearl ball you're set you can cover everything with that okay and if you want to get into the feet i would get a pair of black balls pearl ball and a pair of foot wakers yeah and make sure you have a pump that would be amazing. You could pretty much cover. And then over time, if you want to add to your collection, you can get a silver ball when you want to get deeper into your legs. If you're taller, maybe you want to get the gold ball instead of the pearl ball. That's great too. Of course, if you can buy the face kit, fantastic. Who wouldn't want the face kit? You can work on your face, right? Last thing we want to cover. First thing I want to say is that the balls are made of PVC and contain no latex. And the face ball is phosphate free. So it's great for working on your face. Um, and safe to use on your face. So hence why you do not want to uh, use a tennis ball on your face. Now, a question I get a lot is, how much air should I have in the Yamina balls? Great question. So a lot of the times I see sometimes people haven't inflated the balls in a while and they're just way too loose. So you see that? That's way too much give to have in a ball, okay? In general, you want them to be firm. So you can see I, there's not much give in there. This is pretty firm. And you don't, you don't need it like super crazy hard, but it does need to be firm. Now, the exception to that is if you're working in the abdominals, if you're working in the chest area or the side of the neck, or even on the side of the ribs. And if it feels like it's too hard, 
then of course you take your pump, you take the needle and you deflate and you so that the ball has a little more give, okay? We never wanna hurt ourselves doing these. So now the exception is this small face ball, right? So here, this is where we do not want it super firm, okay? If it's, if it's too hard, it's too harsh on your face. So you do wanna have a little bit of give. So you see there, I can squeeze a little bit. That's enough, that's a pretty good amount to have. And you don't want it the other way either, where there's just too much give, like how this ball has. Then it's just not as effective. So it's kind of that happy medium, not too firm, not too soft, just right, like Goldilocks. So that's it. I hope I've covered all of your questions about the Yamina products. If you have any additional questions, you can always write to me. My information is below and you can write in the comments below. If you like this video, please, you know, press the like button and subscribe and pass it on to your friends. Thanks. Happy rolling.